We're now going to look at tessellations. Here we've got a picture which shows tessellations. Tessellations are where shapes fit together with no spaces between the shapes. Here you've got lots of animals that have fit together perfectly to make this pattern. Here's another type of tessellation. And it's lots of hexagons that fit together on a roof in a building in Barcelona. So you can see all the hexagons fit together perfectly with no spaces between them. Okay, uh, let's have a look at two more tessellations. Uh, this is actually the same one. It's uh, hexagons that fit together perfectly. Now let's actually focus on one particular um, point where three hexagons meet. So if we look at here, here and here. It's interesting to note that the, uh, if these are regular hexagons, that each of the angles is 120 degrees, so 120, 120 and 120. Notice when you add the three 120s together, it gives you 360. That's important. For a shape to tessellate, the angles at each point must add up to 360. Uh, if they don't add up to, uh, together to give you 360, then the shapes won't fit together perfectly to leave no spaces. Uh, let's have a look at one more. Here we've got some squares and some octagons. You can see it's an octagon because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. And they're regular, oct or regular octagons because all of the sides are the same length. So let's have a look at this. Um, let's again look at a point where um, all the shapes fit together. So let's have a look at this point here. And you've got three different angles. The angle, uh, each angle in a regular octagon is 135 degrees. This one's 135 degrees, and in a square, as you should know, it's 90 degrees. Let's add these three uh, angles together. 135 plus 135 plus 90. 5 plus 5 plus 0, 10. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 9 is 16. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so 360. And that's important because for the shape to tessellate, the angles must add to, together to give you 360 degrees.